Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversation. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So what I have here are your January mid-month check-ins, yes? January 2019. So because I was working on the six month forecasts for 2019 and I was wanted to get those out before the 1st of January, I wasn't able to do full January readings for the collective. So I am bringing you guys a mid month check in. Uh, this is going to be a normal um, general freestyle reading, uh, just like always. I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot and I am using the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah. Um, and so this is just this general normal reading. We are going to be looking at what's going on currently around you since we already in the are already are in the month of January. We're going to be looking at what's currently going on around you and then what could be coming up down the line at the end of the month. So we're looking at for that. We're, we're, uh, we're looking at this from around the 15th to the 31st. Yeah. I want to want to wish a special happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. Very happy birthday to you. We are smack dab in the middle of Capricorn season. I hope you guys are having a great birthday. I hope everybody had a great holiday. We are out of the holiday season now, so we might be going through that, you know, post-holiday funk, uh, the uh, seasonal depression maybe, but I hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The energies are fluid. They could go either way. We could either be talking about you personally, or we could be talking about uh, someone that you're connecting with. Cross watchers, you know, it, take, what it, take it as it resonates. Also, everybody, just take it as it resonates. And again, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me, and I can get that set up for you. Yeah, I believe that's it. Ooh, um, good news. I am back at Om Shanti Bookshop here in, in the East Village of New York City. It is on East 14th Street. That is between 3rd and 4th. No, I'm sorry. That's between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. There it is. Um, but I'm going to be there Fridays now from 11 to 5 p.m. So go ahead and uh, you can give them a call. The email address, I'm sorry, the website is in the description box below. So you can go there, get their phone number, give them a call if you would like to... Uh, uh, book a reading in advance that can happen yeah and actually you know that way you don't have to potentially wait if someone else got in before you yes okay I think that's it so without further ado we're gonna get straight to it yes Aha. hello there Leo welcome to your mid-January 2019 reading thank you so much for tuning in let's get into it guys hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for all involved for the mid-January 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Leo, I'm seeing yellow predominantly. Um, this is sun energy, and this absolutely re would represent you as you are, the, you, the, the sun is the ruler of Leo. You are seen as like the sun of the zodiac. Um, but what this is really saying to me, this is talking about illumination, okay? Something may have really been illuminated lately over the past few months. This could be something within yourself that now you're having to come to terms with, or this could be a situation that you dealt with with someone else in which your actions were illuminated or their actions were illuminated. Um, and it's causing a bit of an emotional reaction because I also, am also seeing orange, but I'm also seeing red. Um, the predominant colors are yellow and orange. So I feel like this is mainly emotional in uh, an emotional thing that you're dealing with right now at this point. Something may have happened, something may have popped off with someone else in the past that's left you in this type of bit of emotional state, feeling some type of way. Um, but also this could be inciting some anger within you too with the red energy that I'm seeing, aggression. Um, th there might have been some sort of injustice. But also I feel like it's leading, because Spirit just said insightfulness. So I feel like 
it's leading you, to, well, yeah, illumination. It's leading to some sort of insight for you. So you really may have had to, you may have been maybe in a position to have released something from your life or released someone from your life, some sort of situation, whether that be a relationship, friendship, or business-wise, whatever, family, uh, just a physical thing, a physical item, whatever. But I, yeah, spirit saying insightfulness again. So ultimately, this is all just in service of um, illumination and wisdom. All right, Leo. I'm going to give you guys one more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got for you. Okay. Boop. All right, Leo. Overall energy. We're starting you out with the, yeah. Ooh, yeah, the Six of Swords. So there was conflict in the past, and you guys are moving on now. Um, you're moving from rougher waters to calmer waters. Again, it might be an emotional thing right now. You might be all up in your emotions about it. You might be all up in your head about it. Um, but I really feel like some of you are still in the process of moving through those rocky waters, okay? That could really be the emotional aspect of it. But I do see it starting to even out soon. Um, it's starting to really you're starting to come to terms with whatever it is and uh you're, you're kind of getting over it in a sense yep and you're manifesting something new the magician but i feel like this is energy that you've been in for some time like you've been in the process of manifesting this this could be something that happened a few months ago that you know maybe during the holiday season or before the holiday season something that has been in the works for a while is what i feel with this magician energy okay but you're in the continue you're continuing to work to manifest this and it looks like you're actually almost there with the six of swords you're on your way but i feel like you're almost there you also have the nine of wands. So yeah, you're feeling defensive. Fuck yeah, you're feeling defensive. Whatever happened in this situation, now, regardless of whether you were the perpetrator or someone else was the perpetrator, both parties, it's, it's quite understandable whether you're wrong or right. And again, keep in mind, guys, in spiritual truth, there really is no such thing as wrong or right. There's just experience, okay? Um, and all experiences are interpreted um, in a subjective manner, okay? Uh, knowledge is, is colored, knowledge is neutral, but it is colored by those who share it, who absorb it, take it in, and then regurgitate it, basically. So in essence, there really is no such thing as wrong or right. But regardless of that, each side of the situation, it's feasible or it's plausible that they'd be defensive in some way. One, the, the victim, I say that lightly because I'm not trying to spread victim or... or um, yeah, spread victim conscious or whatever. But I will say the victim here could be defensive because they got hurt. The perpetrator here could be defensive because they're standing in their ego and they don't want to admit that they did anything, quote, wrong or they did anything bad or they or they, they did anything that should have hurt you. But like should have, could have, would have. Like screw you, buddy. So don't even... <laughs> <laughs> Don't even waste your time with that. But there's definitely some defenses up here. And as you're moving through into this new cycle, Leo, um, into this new reality, you are feeling, I feel like a lot of you are feeling battered and bruised and are just like kind of struggling to persevere. Um, but you're, tr you're plugging along, you've got your head hugged high, you're, you're, you're doing... <laughs> you're doing the work eight of pentacles some of you actually might be drowning yourself in work to kind of forget about the situation or some of you may really be focused on your finances um, some of you you may have lost a job or you may have left a job um, or you're trying to do something new you're trying to uh, focus on your pentacles you I, but i feel like you're really man working on manifesting um more money or a better job uh, more security and if it's not if it's not business and financial then it's just a, a depiction of doing the work to manifest what it is you're looking for all right so the first row is going to be your current energies what's going on in the month here and then the second row is going to be the very end of the month okay the upcoming energies for the end of the month so current energies right now for you mid-january leo first set of surrounding energies let's see what we've got for you the four of pentacles so i do feel like some of you are you might be being a little bit stubborn um you might be standing your ground but whether this is good or bad i mean take it as it resonates you know but i do feel like there um 
for some of you, this is a situation in which you are refusing to see the other person's side or the other party's side of the situation. Um, this is pride and ego fueled, if, if that's the case. But for others of you, I do see that you're keeping your pentacles under wraps. You're trying to, at least. Um, you're not trying to spend too much money. You're trying to save your money, okay? Four of pentacles is coupled with the queen of wands. So this could be you. Uh, technically, this is cardinal energy, so this would be Aries, but it also could be you, Leo. Um, and uh, I really feel like you guys, even though you know you're keeping a hard check on your finances, you're working on manifesting the new here. Okay, and it's funny because I just did I just did the Cancerian the, the, the Cancer reading, and I was saying how you know the Queen of Wands was giving me like a magician energy because of the law of attraction. And I was saying that the queen of wands, in my opinion, can be looked at as a minor arcana version when it comes to uh, the magician, when it comes to the law of attraction. And the magician came out right after the queen of wands. So you might be a cancer, a, a, a cancer Leo cusper. You might be dealing with a Leo or you might be dealing with a cancer. You might have either of those signs in a sun, moon, rising or Venus spot in your chart okay you don't have to but if you do you might want to check out those readings um but i really see you focused on the law of attraction and maintaining your integrity through that okay second set of surrounding energies for you leo you've got the knight of wands i'm hearing ex being excited to get out there share your message be social I do see you as a bit of a social butterfly in a sense for some of you. For others of you, I just see you riding on swiftly to the next spot um, with your head held high and bearing the torch of your own inner light, which is pretty beautiful, to be honest. Knight of Wands is coupled with the Two of Pentacles. Now, you also could be dealing with someone that's juggling here. But that's not really, that's really, honestly, I'm not getting that, that much. I mean, it's possible. But what the, the biggest thing that I'm getting here is that um, you're keeping yourself in balance. You're keeping your, fi you're kind of balancing your finances. You're keeping your life in check and in balance, but you are focused on moving forward in somewhat of a light working way or at least a torch bearing way, a leader, a leadership role in a, in a sense. I do see it's interesting because I'm seeing like a figure riding through the darkness, holding a torch that's illuminating his way forward um, while keeping his mundane life in check. OK, your challenge in the current energies for your month of January, Leo, you've got you've got the Queen of Swords. So um, for some of you, your challenge is dealing with a Queen of Swords energy. Now, this could be negatively aspected. It could be positively aspected. Take your or, or take it as it resonates. For some of for others of you, this really could be you needing to step up as the Queen of Swords and cut something out that no longer serves you. At the same time, you also could be cautioned against being too Queen of Swords ish, right? But for the most part, I really do feel like some of you really need the challenges that something some of y'all need to cut something out. And this isn't even a matter of discussing it. Maybe we can work this out. Fuck that shit. This does not work in this current moment. I'm cutting it out. I don't need it in my life. Bye. That could be the challenge for some of you. OK. Uh, the Queen of Wands is coupled with. Woo! The Queen of Pentacles. I'm sorry, not the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Swords is coupled with the Queen of Pentacles. And actually, these two are like sisters to me, almost like two peas in a pod, because they're very similar in the sense that they are very down to the point. They don't take, they're cut to the chase. They don't take any shit, okay? Uh, but to me, the Queen of Pentacles is has a bit, well, has more compassion or more emotional investment than the Queen of Swords would, would or ever, ever would even dream of, okay? But they do, I feel like they get along very well, like they really understand each other very well. Um, and that, the, so the challenge could be balancing the Queen of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles. The hard exterior, the no shit taking energy while still being compassionate and understanding and nurturing, okay? 
Lots of queen energy though. You have the queen of wands, queen of swords, and queen of pentacles. I'm interested to see if the queen of cups comes out, but there's a lot of divine feminine energy here, okay? And the divine feminine is on, is on the rise. And that actually, now that I think of it, um, I'm picking up that for some of you, the rise of the divine feminine is what is causing you or what is influencing you to move forward with the six of swords, okay? Closing energies or the poten at least the potential outcome for you for this beginning of, or for the for the current energies of January, mid-month, you have Seven of Pentacles. All right, so patience. Your harvest is coming in is what I'm hearing. Um, and you're needing to just be patient with it because the seeds have been planted. Now you just have to let it grow, okay? Seven of Pentacles is coupled with, woo-wee, the Eight of Cups. And this is all happening because you either have walked away from something or um, you need to walk away from something or you could be walking away from something. You could be finally coming to the end of the situation where now you really see it for what it is. Um, you realize that you may realize that this harvest is not what you expected or at least not what you wanted. Um, and so you could be walking away from the situation just being like, okay, well, this is not, this doesn't work for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Or you could have walked away already after coming to the uh, to the understanding, you know? Uh, for others of you, you're reaping what you've sown. So in the sense that if you walked away from something in the past, what this is saying is that you are, a, a, an abundant harvest can come from that. Because I really do feel like if you walked away from something, it actually was a really beneficial thing for you, okay? For the end of the month, let's see what you got. Page of Swords. Someone could be watching you, all right? Especially if you walked away from them or there was some sort of fallout or something, someone could be watching you or vice versa, you could be watching someone else, okay? Also, there could be some sort of communication that's desired or that could come in here for you, Leo. Or you may be wanting to communicate with someone. Again, this is a general reading, so uh, take it as it resonates. The energies are fluid. They could go either way, yeah? Uh, Page of Swords is coupled with the, oof, oof, the Five of Swords. So yeah, there was definitely some conflict here, Leo. And um, there, were some, there were some petty arguments, some petty bullshit went down. Or... This, because this is the upcoming energies for the end of the month, or there could be some petty arguments going down. Watch out for that. Okay. But I feel like there are energies of somebody watching you after some sort of fallout, some sort of argument. And I'm also, I'm getting, I'm getting some pretty, eddy, p pretty petty energies here. I'm getting an energy of someone trying to like check up on you or see what you're doing now that you two have fallen out, expecting you to fail of so, in some way, wanting to see if you have failed yet in some way. That's real petty guys. I mean, ain't nobody got time for that shit. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for the end of the month. You've got the moon. Secrets, lies, deception. I feel like if someone comes forward and tries to communicate with you, maybe even tries their hand at reconciliation, I don't think it's going to be genuine at all. So I would watch out for that. Especially if this is this person or these people or the circumstance in which there was a major falling out. Uh, illusion. Illusion, illusion, illusion. But this is also talking about fear. Okay. Uh, don't let yourself get wrapped up in fear. Things are not quite as they seem, Leo. So just keep that in mind, all right? The moon is coupled with, oh, there she is, the queen of cups. But you know what this is now also, this is speaking about, this could really be talking about your intuition. So again, if somebody from your past, recent, distant, whatever, comes back and you had some sort of major falling out with them, be careful. Use your intuition. Because to me, the Queen of Cups is the best at, 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 uh, at being an, uh, expressing empathy or being empathic, being able to read people's intentions. 
use your discernment wisely. Okay. Good Lord. <laughs> but you do, you've got all four queens here, Leo. That's fantastic. Definitely a whole hell of a lot of divine feminine energy. And I, like I said, it's the divine feminine. It's the rise of the divine feminine that is moving you in this new direction. And with that comes a good deal of psychic or empathic power. So use that to your advantage. Don't be so easy to reconcile, all right? Remain compassionate, but also the Queen of Cups is about having emotional boundaries. So it doesn't mean that you can't be civil with the people. No, that's not what I'm talking about. But as far as like letting them back in and quote, quote unquote, being friends again, mm, woo, you're going to have to, you're going to have to hold up on that, buddy. <laughs> Your challenge in the end of the month, Leo, you've got, ooh, Ace of Cups. But you see, the challenge in the Ace of Cups here for you would be enforcing your self-love. Because I feel like you've come to a point of view, a point in, or a position in your life where the rise of the Divine Feminine has influenced you towards this new cycle, um, walking away from something, moving away from something. And that has also influenced you. Well, that is also rooted in being in this unconditionally self-loving place, right? You most likely removed yourself from a situation that was pretty toxic, um, not something that was benefiting you, something that might have been draining you. And because you learned to love yourself, you said, I don't have to stay here. I don't deserve to be treated like this. Either you did this, Leo, or someone else did this, right? This, the energies can go either way. Take it as it resonates. Somebody walked away out of, in service of self-love. And so when it comes to the end of the month, especially if this person tries to come back around or if there's some, there, there, there is some sort of attempt to reconcile, and by this person, I mean the one that basically did you wrong, we'll say. Mistreated you, treated you unfairly, we'll say. The, the people that you separated from people or person or romantic relationship, friendship, whatever. You guys get what I mean. If that situation tries to come back around, you need to assert your self-love. Again, doesn't mean you can't be civil, but at the same time, maintain your boundaries. Don't be so quick to just let them right back in. Okay? Use your empathic ability to feel it out. All right? Ace of Cups is coupled with Need I say more? Justice. I'm going to leave it right there. That's your challenge. Maintaining this justice for yourself. Okay? And that goes out to whoever removed themselves from the situation for self-loving reasons. Unconditional love for the self is what Spirit just said. Closing message, or at least potential outcome for the end of the month, you have, I know that's right, judgment. Now this really, this could speak to reconciliation, but it also speaks to rebirth. All right, answering the call, hearing the call and answering it, waking up, ascending, Ascension, hello, you could be Leo or the cross watcher, whoever is on the receiving end of some sort of injustice. You could, especially since uh, in the beginning of the reading, I was saying I was seeing this yellow energy and it's talking about illumination, either your actions or the actions of someone else. So you really could be the individual that is helping awaken someone to their actions, to their habits, to whatever, their tendencies, whatever. Okay, judgment is coupled with 10 of pentacles. My, my. So I do see that some of you are moving into new financial position. This 10 of pentacles also can be a completion. Well, it is a completion, it's a 10, right? So. 
what I'm getting what I'm getting with that is the fact that you could be someone that is really helping somebody complete a cycle in their lives um, or maybe a cycle of selfishness narcissism that type of thing over indulgence in the pleasures the physical pleasures of life or um, overly focused on finances and money and status and that and, and those things of the physical realm the 3d realm you really could be either closing that cycle out yourself or awakening someone to that need to end that cycle within them. 22, 22 on the counter. Okay. Excellent, Leo. So let's get into your Oracle guidance now for the month. All right, Leo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Let's see what we've got for you. Best message, please, spirit, for January, mid-January 2019. Woo! I mean, you can't make this stuff up, y'all. All right, Leo. Underneath the deck, you have patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. I know. We're so, all of us, many of us are so done with that with patience, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so finally your message here is awareness. <clears throat> Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. But this is also being aware of what's going on around you. Again, using that empathic ability of the Queen of Cups to really read people's intentions. Okay? I have to say, I love that all four queens came out for you, Leo. That's beautiful. There is really an influence of the divine feminine going on here. And it's interesting because Aluna Ash, if you guys are familiar with her, um, if, uh, if not, check her out. But um, Aluna Ash 9D on YouTube, I believe. But she has been talking about how the sun is, is uh, transforming into a magnetic instead of an, elect an electric sun. Magnetic being attractive. And the magnetic energy is the feminine energy. And, the, and Leo is ruled by the sun. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's really interesting. And I think this is an energy that really is going to continue over the next year. It's not just that it's January, but it's coming forward in January where a lot of people that are influenced by Leo energy, whether you have it at Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if you have a bunch of planets in it, depending on what house Leo is in, whatever, whoever's being influenced by Leo energy um, is being heavily influenced by the divine feminine right now. I mean, we're all being heavily influenced, but we're all being influenced in different ways. Leo is being influenced in a pretty powerful way, apparently. Ooh. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, go ahead and send me an email and I will get you all set up. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great January and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of February. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.